Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, we just passed 160 subs. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I hope I continue to make great content you guys will enjoy in the future. Now, on Thursday night, there is a game in the American Conference between two teams that really need a win. With the Tulsa Golden Hurricane traveling on the road at the Memphis Tigers. Who do I think is going to win this game? Let's break it down. Now, Tulsa is 3-6 and six and 1-4 and in the American Conference to start the season. And Philip Montgomery has been their head coach for a while. He's had some decent seasons with Tulsa, but he's also had some rough seasons. And this season's not going as well as some of their past seasons. And if they lose to Memphis, they will not be bowl eligible anymore. But to start of the season, like I said, they're three and six, and they lost to Wyoming in Week One, 40 to 37 in double overtime on the road. Tough loss. Wyoming obviously is not as good as they were last year, but Tulsa still cannot get the win. But it was a close game. But then they beat Northern Illinois in a close game, 38 to 35, close win. Obviously, Northern Illinois is a struggling MAC team, but Tulsa found a way to win. And then they beat Jacksonville State, 54 to 17. That was a good win. And then they lost competitively at Ole Miss, 35 to 27. And this was a good result for Tulsa because they were really competitive against a really good SEC team. And then they lost to Cincinnati, 31 to 21. Not bad as well. Cincinnati is one of the best American Conference teams, and they were competitive. But then they lost at Navy, 51 to 21, and they were not close in this game at all. Navy ran all over them. But then they beat Temple on the road, 27 to 16. And Temple is a really struggling team, so good one there. But then they lost to SMU, 45 to 34. Not a bad loss either. SMU is a decent team. And then they lost to Tulane. 27 to 13 and obviously Tulane's probably been the best team in the American Conference so far this season maybe beside UCF it's debatable but Tulsa's been pretty good in a lot of games against some of their better opponents outside of a couple of bad losses and in that Tulane game quarterback Braylon Braxton at 146 yards and a touchdown and 32 rushing yards he's a decent quarterback Obviously, Tulsa's had better quarterbacks in the past, but he's not bad, and he does really try for Tulsa to win. Running back Deneric Prince at 55 yards, decent running back for Tulsa. Wide receiver J.C. Santana, 41 yards and a touchdown, not bad receiver for Tulsa. Tulsa's got a decent offense, but they need to be more consistent on that side of the ball. And on the defense side of the ball, safety can Darren Ray at eight tackles and interception, great safety for Tulsa. Linebacker John Michael Terry at seven tackles, and safety Bryce and Powers at five tackles for Tulsa against Tulane. And Tulsa's defense, kind of like their offense at times, have been decent, but at times they're not very good. So Tulsa needs to get better on both sides of the ball. And on the Memphis side, they're four and five and two and four to start the season in the American. And Ron Silverfield, a head coach, has done a pretty good job at Memphis to continue to have Memphis as one of the better American Conference programs. But this season has not gone as well for Memphis, and their record is not as good as they've been in the past. But they're still a good team. They've had a lot of losses to really good teams. They lost in week one to Mississippi State, 49 to 23. Tough loss there on the road. Mississippi State's one of the top SEC football programs, one of the better ones anyway, so that was not a bad loss there. But then they won at Navy, 37 to 13. Good bounce back win there at Navy. And then they beat Arkansas State 44 to 32. That was a good win. Then they beat North Texas 44 to 34. Obviously, they weren't beating these teams by a lot, but they were still winning, so that was good. And then they beat Temple 24 to 3. But then they had a four-game losing streak in a row. They have not won since the Temple game, and they've all been very competitive against the best American Conference teams. They lost to Houston 33 to 32 at home in a game that they were winning the whole time, and they allowed Houston to come back and win. Then they lost at ECU in four overtimes, 47 to 45 in a game that they were very competitive in. This game could have gone back and forth, but they just could not get the two-point conversion in four overtimes. Then they lost at Tulane, 38-28, to and this was a game that obviously Tulane is one of the best American Conference teams, maybe the best American Conference team, and Memphis was very competitive in this game. And then they lost to UCF, who could maybe be the other uh, best American Conference team, and they lost to them 35-28. to So Memphis has been really competitive. They just not, have not found ways to win. And quarterback Seth Hennigan in the UCF game had 284 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions, and 69 rushing yards and a touchdown. He's a dual-threat quarterback, a very good quarterback for Memphis. Maybe even has an NFL future, and he's a really good quarterback. And he definitely helps Memphis' offense be better than what it could be. Running back Brandon Tucker at 33 yards and a touchdown, and running back Jevion Ducker at 30 yards and a touchdown. Both solid running backs. Uh, both complement each other pretty well in the Memphis backfield. Tight end Caden Priest scoring 86 yards against UCF at tight end. He's a really good tight end. He could maybe be in the NFL. And on the defensive side of the ball, linebacker Jose Collins at seven tackles, and defensive back Davian Ross at five tackles and an interception for Memphis against UCF. And Memphis's defense has been pretty solid, but they're not very consistent, and they do struggle against some of the better teams on their schedule to stop them. 
stop their offenses, and obviously Memphis's offense has been kind of up and down, but they are a pretty solid team on offense. So who do I think is going to win this game? Both teams need this game, and they need this game badly, especially for Tulsa. If they don't win, they're not going to make a bowl. Memphis obviously could lose and still make a bowl game, but they really need to win this game if they want to make sure they're going to make a bowl game. This game is at Memphis, and that helps Memphis a lot. Obviously, the home field advantage is very key, and Memphis does have a really good home field advantage for a team in the American Conference. And Memphis's offense and defense, to me, is just more talented than Tulsa. Tulsa has a decent team, but Memphis has better players overall. And I think Memphis has shown that they are a really good team. They just have not found ways to beat the best teams in the American Conference. Their record is 4-5, and five, and I know that a lot of people will be turned off by that, but Memphis is a really good team still. They've just had a lot of close losses to really good teams. And Tulsa's had that as well. They've had games this season where they've been very competitive competitive against the better opponents on their schedule. But I'm going to go with Memphis to beat Tulsa 34-24. to I think Tulsa can win this game. I think Philip Montgomery's done a really good job at Tulsa over the, through the years to have them be a very decent program. They're just not having a great season. They have good players on, on both sides of the ball, but I think Memphis is better players. And even though Tulsa's been competitive in some, against some of the better opponents on their schedule, I think Memphis has been even more competitive against the better opponents on their schedule. And I think Memphis is better players on both sides of the ball. I think Ron Silverfield has his team just a little bit better in position right now than Philip Montgomery at Tulsa. I think Memphis is going to find a way to win this game and break the streak of close losses that they've had against better opponents. And I think Memphis is going to beat Tulsa 34-24. to Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think Memphis or Tulsa is going to win this game and why. And I'll see you next time.